David Opel was hoping that the driver would go right past him on this road. He came into this driveway here in hopes that she would continue on, but as she barreled towards him, all he could do was brace for the hit. A slicing right through that tree there. From every <laughs> single <laughs> angle. The dog is scared. Oh no! There's no mistaking this RV pursuit, one of the wildest and most reckless chases in LA. The whole side is missing. Look at that. Hit after hit, drivers taken out left and right. <laughs> Behind the wheel, DUI suspect Julie Ann Rainbird. Also on the road at the time, David Opel. He says Rainbird cut him off as he was driving home. He immediately called his wife. And I said, hey, I go, I'm fine. I so said, I just want to let you know I almost got killed by this crazy RV that looks like an airplane flew into it. So I don't know what the deal is. I said, but something's not right. Was that a premonition of what was to come? Just minutes later, he's almost home. I just happened to look in my rearview mirror and I saw the RV and I <laughs> and she was flying. She was easily doing 50. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I had. Uh, oh, my God. Right into the tree. I saw the whole thing. I mean, I watched her just barrel right into me. I knew she wasn't stopping. It was almost like she was doing it on purpose. Opel says the seconds before he was hit, time slowed down. I was totally helpless. Nothing I could do. Just braced for it and just waited for it to go. He immediately stepped out of the car. He was disoriented and hurt, but breathing. Am I lucky? Absolutely. I mean, I easily could have been dead, no, no doubt about it. As for the driver, she's facing DUI, felony evading, and felony hit and run charges. She's also accused of stealing this RV and the identity of the woman who owns it. Here comes CHP, and she is being taken down. Opel doesn't have much to say to Rainbird. He's just happy to be alive. I'm happy I'm here. It was a good day. I'm, ha I'm here and I'm breathing. Every day above ground is a good one. And Mark and Michelle Opel is suffering from broken ribs. He's got a punctured lung. He's got a broken bone in his back. He doesn't know how long he's going to be in the hospital and out of work. And of course, this weekend, he was supposed to fly out of town for Memorial Day to celebrate his wedding anniversary. He won't be doing that. But again, emphasizing that he is happy to be alive tonight. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.